What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the binary function. So the binary conversion function is a function that will convert your inputs into a binary output. So this could be uh, where you need to output something to binary um, to then pass to another application maybe, or maybe you want to store the data as binary, and that's where this could be useful. So let's take a look at it today. So I've got a manual trigger flow, um, and in this manual trigger flow, I've got a text input and a number input. <coughs> now for this binary one, we can actually use either a text or a number input, and it'll convert whichever one of those uh, you put into it into binary. So it'll work both ways. Um, and then after that, I've got two compose actions. So what I'll do is actually use both these compose actions to show you. So in this first compose action, I'll go to expressions, I will scroll down until we get to conversion functions, and then I will go all the way down to binary. So it says returns a binary representation of a value. So we click that, and then we'll switch over to dynamic content, and we will choose the inputs. So this is the text input, the first one at the top. And once we're happy with that, we'll click OK. Then we'll do the same thing again, and we will actually put the binary input for the number as well. So we'll Again, we typed in binary and then we'll add the number in there and we'll click OK. So what this will do is this will take the inputs from the text and the inputs from the and the number and it'll convert both these to binary in the compose one and compose two actions. So let's test this now. So I'll perform the trigger. Uh, we'll put in something like hello uh, and in the numbers we'll put uh, number five. Run the flow. Click OK. Uh, now we can see that the outputs for the manual trigger were hello and the number five, and then the two compose actions look like this. Now, if you watch my video on the base64 to binary conversion, what you actually know is that this isn't binary. It's not ones and zeros like you would uh, associate with binary. This is a JSON representation of um, a file output and how you would um, convert to binary. So if you were to um, pass this to another application, it could open this and it would interpret it as the binary of this and this. So this octet stream is, this application octet stream is saying that this is a binary application and then it's passing in the content that was inside that in a base 64 um, string, encoded string format. And it's the same thing for the number as well. So again, it doesn't actually convert it to binary as you would perceive it to do. It converts into this JSON type where it tells the application that opens it what it should be and uh, the base 64 encoded version um, of that, the, the ASCII for that. So what do you guys think? Is this something that is useful to you? Um, does anyone really work binary anymore? I'd really like to know. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you found this video useful, please like and please share it with your friends. Uh, if you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time.